Hey everybody and welcome back to another math lesson. Today we are going to review a little bit about what proportionality is and look at how those relationships are graphed. So a proportional relationship, remember, is when there is a constant rate of change. And we found that by doing y divided by x. And we called that k. So k equals a y value divided by its x value. We also called that the unit rate, the constant of proportionality. Long word. Um, the constant rate of change. Was it. So all of these things are the same thing. It's just saying we're getting from our x to y by multiplying. So here's an example. If I had 2 and it was 16 and this is x and y. x is always on top, y is always on bottom. So if I had 2 and 16, what is my k? What is my constant rate of change? 8, because 16 divided by 2, so if I did my k equals y divided by x, and I did 16 divided by 2 equals 8. So that just means to get from 2 to 16, I multiplied by 8. So what if I told you I had four? What is the missing value here? Four times eight is 32. So we got that by doing four times the K. What if we had to go backwards? What if I told you that the Y was 40? How much would X be? Remember, to get from x to y, I multiply. So to go backwards, we're going to divide. So this is going to be 5 because 40 divided by 8 is 5. Or you could think about it that 5 times 8 is 40. What about 72? What if I put 72 right here? What is x? would be 9 because 9 times 8 is 72. Is this a proportional relationship? Yeah, it is because this works because I'm only having to multiply to get from x to y. So this is proportional. It is proportional because I'm going to do BC for because. There is a constant rate of change of 8. All right. Now, what if I graphed this relationship? I'm not going to graph all of it, but what if I graphed a little bit of it? So, throw this up, maybe like this. So, 2 is 16. Let's say this is 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So 2 is 16. So I see 15 right here. 2 is 16. Oh, 4 is 32. Let's go backwards. What would 0 be? Because I'm out of room. If x was 0, how much would y be? 0, because 0 times 8 is 0. So it would start here. So 0, 0, and then it would go to 2, 16. So your line is going to look like this. Now, this is a proportional relationship because it meets two criteria. One, it is a straight line. And it is continuously straight forever. The second thing it does, 
it went through zero, zero. And we're going to call that the origin, which is zero, zero. Okay, any time a graph meets these two criteria, it's a single straight line that goes through the origin, it's a proportional relationship. All right, let's try another table just for practice. What if I told you that your value was 2, x, y, x is 2, and y is 1.40? How much is K? K would be 70 cents, so for 0.70. K equals 0.70 because 2 times 0.7 equals 1.40. How would you go backwards from 2.10? How much is X if Y is 2.10? 3. Because 3 times 0.7 is 2.1, or 2.1 divided by 0.7 is 3. What if it's 6? How much is y? 4.2. Because 6 times 0.7 is 4.2. What about 8? Last one. 5.6 because 8 times 0.7 is 5.6. I do not expect you to be able to do that in your head. I already knew the answers. You should be writing this down. Last question. Is this a proportional relationship? Absolutely it is because it has a constant rate of change of 0.7 and it works every single time. Is this graph going to be a straight line? Yes. Will it go through zero, zero? Also yes. All right. Good luck. See you guys next time.